optimistic Governor Gary Herbert tonight. But there is work to do. Political specialist Lad Egan's live on Capitol Hill with the wrap up. And Lad, a positive speech overall. Any surprises? Uh, yeah, there were a few, Dave. You know, one headline coming out of the speech is encouragement from Governor Gary Herbert for new legislation that would modernize Utah's alcohol laws. And, you know, in laying out his uh, vision for the state, Governor Herbert didn't shy away from acknowledging the good and the bad. The height that Utah's economy now occupies is remarkable. After highlighting Utah's fast-growing technology sector, the state of our state is truly exceptional. Governor Gary Herbert moved quickly to addressing two of Utah's biggest problems. Drug addiction and homelessness. And promising statewide action to address the suffering. Let us all agree tonight that this absolutely must stop. <laughs> On proposed legislation to update Utah's alcohol laws. To keep and enhance what works for Utah and repeal what does not. He appeared to endorse getting rid of the restaurant requirement that liquor be mixed behind barriers. But that would be merely one aspect of this updating. This is about public health and public safety. For funding education, the Republican cautioned against tax changes that could hurt the economy while also announcing a new program called Talent Ready Utah to expand job opportunities. 40,000 new high skill, high paying jobs over the next four years. We can do more, we have to do more. Afterward, Democrats gathered to respond saying the speech was positive but calling for real action on air quality and finding more money for education. I think we could make it a better priority. We have a crisis right now. He didn't talk about that. We have a teacher shorty. In response to the new Trump administration, Governor Herbert said that after attending the inauguration, he feels confident that the focus will be on returning more power to the states to control things like health care and public lands. In terms of the homelessness crisis here in Salt Lake City, Dave, the governor said he's anxious to hear what lawmakers come up with for solutions on the next steps to take. Lad Egan, live for us up on Capitol Hill with a few snowflakes. Lad, nice job. <laughs> Mike.